Hi fellow travelers! Now in this video, we are heading to Drew Farms to go apple picking. Well, autumn is definitely in full swing and a popular fall activity is this. Yes, cheers! And they also have pumpkin picking, live music, and so much more. Welcome back to Angel's Video Diary and it's me, your travel angel. And I help fellow travelers overcome the difficulties of planning a trip by giving a list of things to do in a city. And I also share my personal and outfit inspirations here. Now let's go apple picking. All right, first things first, you'll have to purchase a bag or bags that you will use for the apple picking. And take note, you can only use bags that Drew Farm sells. So you can buy the bags at the retail shop, which is located right at the entrance near the parking lot. Also, in case you're wondering, here are the prices for the bags. Drew Farms is located in Westford, Massachusetts, and it is open every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Also, it's an hour away outside of Boston. And you know what's good about this farm is that it is pet friendly. You just have to keep them on a leash at all times. Also, make sure you bring waste bags to clean after him or her. So, another question you might ask is that if Drew Farms is wheelchair accessible? Well, we were able to bring Paolo with us, but most of the farm is gravel and grass. So, it was a bit of a challenge going up the hill plus going through the orchard. Hey, if you're learning and enjoying this video, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get new video updates. Well, the day started out a bit chilly, but it got a little warm since we were walking and moving a lot. Plus, the sun decided to show up as well, so I had to remove my jacket. Although the weather was still nice and pleasant, it didn't feel muggy or anything. The orchard is also located on a beautiful hill with breathtaking views and a variety of apples to choose from. Now I am trying the uh, Golden Delicious. There's a lot of insects here, but let's try it. Cheers! It's a mix of sweet and tart. Now, when you reach the top of the hill, you'll get a nice view of the farm, which is gonna be a stunning place for fall foliage. They sell fresh pressed apple cider and cider donuts here, but only on the weekends while they last. And it was really yummy. Oh, by the way, the apples are marked with colored ribbons. And you'll see the list of the apples here on the right side on your way to the orchard. And there's also a tent near the orchard where you can buy apple cider and cider donuts. And so they have a menu with prices, and you'll also see a list of their apple varieties here. You can also make s'mores if you want, and it's $4 for two s'mores kit. There's a pumpkin patch here as well. And speaking of pumpkins, they host the Pumpkin Light, which is an annual tradition where they showcase hundreds of jack-o'-lanterns. So you'll see pumpkins artfully carved by local artists, and they do the Pumpkin Light on Halloween night. If you want to bring home a pumpkin, you can do that as well. And the prize is located at the bottom of the pumpkin. And it looks like they don't have tractor rides this season, but it's all good. They have picnic tables here though for a fun day of picnicking. Although the picnic tables are a first come first serve basis. But I saw a family who brought a picnic blanket so you can bring your own as well and set it up on the lawn then enjoy the view while you eat. There's also live music where the picnic tables are. <laughs> So that's one of the best places to spend your time here. Fun fact, apples are a good source of antioxidants and fiber as well. And I would usually eat an apple before I work out because I used to drink pre-workout drinks and they make me dizzy all the time. And this actually works for me, you know, to give me the energy I need before I exercise. So what about you? What's your favorite fall activity? Hey, let me know in the comment box below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get new video updates. Let's connect on social media. That's at Angel's Video Diary. Subscribe to my blog, MyPurplePages.com. Hey, remember, continue to spread positivity and I'll see you next time. Here's what's next on the vlog. And so in the next video, we are heading back to Acadia National Park to check out the fall foliage. We'll also go back to Salem, Massachusetts. That's all coming up, so stay tuned.